Hello lovely people and warm welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well by God's grace. So today I want to share with you another quick and easy fish recipe, okay? So this is very, very, very simple. On a lazy day, you can't be bothered kind of thing. So yeah, let's get into the video and I'll show you how I made this delicious fried tilapia. Mm, nice and crispy on the outside and very soft on the inside. Um, join me and let's do this together. So I have these spices, which is absolutely amazing, perfect, okay, for um, marinating your fish, okay. So I'm putting this marinade together. All the um, ingredients are, you know, showing up for you, so I don't need to go through it, right. So you add some lemon zest, okay, one lemon, the zest of it, and then you use um, the juice of half of it, okay. Here I had some onga, so I, I decided to add the onga, a drizzle, just a drizzle of olive oil, okay. So we mix everything together and then once it's ready we'll bring our fish and then we'll just uh, marinate it as necessary and uh, here as necessary we just marinate it more mini free okay so i have another recipe where the the spices i'm going to be using for the fish will be dry okay so this is a wet one okay if you don't want the wet one don't worry i'll bring you the dry one right so we try and coat the fish with the marinade make sure that every part of it is nicely coated so once it's all done i will cover it with the kitchen foil to let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes fish doesn't take long to marinate okay so you don't have to leave it for like overnight unless maybe you're not ready to fry it okay so just 15 to 20 minutes and that is it we are you are ready to go um, about 15 20 minutes it's nicely marinated and yeah we're ready to fry it. okay so in my oil i've added some shallots and then some two cloves of garlic i'm sprinkling in some flour i like to do that okay so that it lightly coats the skin of the fish okay i don't like to dip my fish in flour so that my fish is all coated in flour i don't like that um flour taste put on fish just a I don't like the taste intermediate. Yeah, I mean from Bumsa. But you can actually do it. Sometimes I do it if I'm making it for guests, like you know, but for myself, this is how I like to do it. And you get a nice thin layer of the flour, you know, and that's all that you need, right? So yeah, once it fries um, on one side, you turn it around. This is deep frying. I shouldn't have turned it over, but then um I could see that some bits were not frying, so I had to turn it. Okay, so you just and be careful that mm, with the hot oil so that doesn't splatter. Splatter the ampe. Will be ampe splatter. Okay, so very easy. That is it. It is just done. I, I I love making this recipe. Okay, I make it so very often. Usually like Monday night or Sunday night. Okay, that's why if you get some yam, I usually do it with yam and plantain. Plantain. I'm just a kokwai actually. Okay. I don't bother to do the Kelly Willy spice. I want to do. We see other work. Sorry about what press. I hope it's easy fix. Okay. So, yeah. I, I fry this because my family. Oh, they love this. I said, I could get it, get it, get it. So, I would do. That's the one. Take it care. I'm going to be in the. I'm going to be in So, yeah. We love it. And it is easy. I use this particular one to um, eat my kinky. The one that um, I added the cassava dough. It was amazing. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this recipe and um, you give it a try sometime, okay? Next time you fry your fish, you can try the ingredients. They're amazing and you love it. And don't forget to like this video, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!